Hello again, CoinOps fans. This is Pixel Freak from the Discord server. I want to introduce Legends 2 Pi 4 build. This has been tested on a Pi 4 gig and 8 gig and a Pi 400, all working very well. Uh, we anticipate it will also work well on a Pi uh, Pi 4 2 gig will not work on Pi 3, but get us out a lot. So if you have any questions, join the CoinOps Discord server, but I'll try and give you a brief overview. As you can tell, this is a 16 by 9 top horizontal fast theme. It's the only theme available in order to make this build uh, stable. Uh, the first version was as, uh, only this theme, no settings. There is a shutdown button, but no settings. So you understand that scrolling left and right is the same. You just saw there, the logos go by fast. The full screen 1080p 16 by 9 videos are playing. They change when you stop scrolling. You select the games by hitting the A. You exit them by doing back and select. Typical coin ops operations. The only difference is in a Pi build, and this is very important, up and down, instead of changing all of the genres, etc., it will change between all games and favorites only. If you want to get into the genres, use the back button. Clicking the back button will toggle through the genres. That's different than the Windows build. So that's very important that I point that out. As you can see, it is lightning fast, frames per second, no overclock. This has been optimized absolutely by the team. Uh, thank you, Blue Stang, Andy Byrne, BP, going through all of that and making sure that it's ready to go. It still has the bumper selection by letter, as you see here. We're in the all games. Left and right, we'll get you letter to letter. I'm sorry, left and right will get you game to game. Bumpers will get you letter to letter. Now, you'll also see the up down will toggle between all games and favorites after a few games are shown here. I'm using somebody else's video. I do not have a Pi 4. I did not screen cap. So I want to point out also because you're about to see some whitewashed bezels. That is not how it appears. That's because this is taken by a cell phone and not directly from the screen itself. So therefore, the contrast variations, this is not real world. It's just what the camera is doing. You'll see the difference when the colors kick in here a little bit. The beautiful Bloody Drake uh, inspired bezels. That's simply because how it's captured. So. The whitewashing away, I want to remind you that uh, it is X input compatible. It's plug and play go. And when I say plug right now, it's wired only. Uh, Bluetooth, etc., has not been integrated yet. We're looking for more features in version two. So it's X input cabled controllers only. D input should work as well, but it's anticipated. We didn't have the hardware to test it, uh, but D input should also uh, pose the start and coin button will be flipped like it does on Windows. Uh, there are no settings, so you can't unlock the controls to change them in MAME. So it's quite likely that if you're using D input, which is you know the uh, zero delay or the generic arcade controllers, if you're using it in an arcade, uh, the coin and start should be swapped. If you're in an arcade and you have access to the wires, because this is a MAME only build, and I would only recommend it in a MAME only build, uh, you can swap the actual buttons if you want. Buttons seven and eight, you can swap the wires. Uh, but when you get to a build that has more emulators than MAME, I do not re recommend that. I recommend you fixing it via software like the pin that I've created in the help channel to show you how to do that in MAME under general controls. Aside from that, though, uh, it's been tested on 8-bit do uh, mini Xbox generic uh, knockoffs as well as the Xbox themselves. The controllers all work in X input mode out of the box. Now, pay attention here. There are 297 games down at the bottom right. This is favorites. Now we're getting into the genres. Last played, old school. All of the typical genres you're used to in a coin ops build are accessed by the back button. And uh, you're going to see here uh, being able to flip through them. This is the run and gun genre. How quick and fast this menu is. If you see down the bottom left, it still has the favorites icon. That's the favorites playlist that pulsates. The favorites icons are the ones that are gold or grayed out. They are used uh, toggled by the start button. So to favorite a game when you're not in the favorites playlist, any game you're in, any other playlist, you hit start to toggle it, favorite on or favorite off, go to the favorites playlist to actually play just those sorted games. If you're in the favorites playlist and you hit start on a favorited game, the only way I can toggle it is turn it off and remove it from the favorites playlist. So this is uh, Pixel Freak letting you know that this is out now. If you have any questions, join the Discord server. 
We have all of the information there that you could need, all the support you could need. Look for more improvements as version two gets worked on. If the, if the community supports and it gets used, there will be more efforts put into updating and adding more features into the Pi 4 Legends 2 build. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on the Discord server.